The movie begins with a Mexican federal agent named Machete on a dangerous mission to rescue a woman captured by a cruel man named Torres. Machete's friend gets scared and backs out, worried about how dangerous Torres's gang is. Despite this, Machete refuses to give up and decides to take on Torres's hideout alone. Armed with a borrowed machete, he fights through Torres's men, defeating many of them. He eventually finds the woman he's come to save, but she suddenly turns on him, attacking him instead. This leaves Machete surrounded by Torres, his followers, and even some top Mexican government officials. Suddenly, Torres kills the woman and brags that he can't be touched because of his strong connections within the police. To make things worse, Torres brings out Machete's wife and kills her in front of him. He plans to kill Machete too, but changes his mind and cruelly orders his men to release him so he can live with the pain. Three years later, Machete is living in Texas, hiding as an undocumented immigrant. He works alongside other immigrants, doing small jobs to get by. Meanwhile, a customs agent named Sartana is watching the activities of immigrants in the area. She is trying to catch the leader of a group that helps Mexicans enter the U.S. illegally. Many people are crossing the border without proper documents to find work, and Sartana is particularly interested in a kebab seller named Luz, who she suspects is part of the group known as Sha. One evening, Vaughn, a driver, is transporting Mexicans across the U.S.-Mexico border. As they enter Texas, they are ambushed by Texas police led by Vaughn Jackson, who starts shooting. In a heartless act, Jackson tells a trapped immigrant couple that Texans hate immigrants and kills the pregnant wife. To make things worse, a politician running for senator, John McLaughlin, joins in and kills the husband. The entire horrific event is filmed to be shared with wealthy donors to boost their campaign. The next day, Machete is out buying coffee when a street fight promoter approaches him. The promoter offers Machete $500 to fight one of their tough fighters. Since Machete is short on cash, he accepts the offer. During the fight, Machete shows off his impressive skills, even breaking his opponent's hand. He wins the fight and collects the prize money. Meanwhile, Sartana is trying to gather more information about Sha, the mysterious leader of an underground network that helps Mexican immigrants. To get closer, Sartana visits Luz's coffee shop, pretending to be a customer. While she tries to strike up a conversation, Luz is careful and doesn't reveal much. However, Luz hints that she knows Sartana's secret, that Sartana herself used to be a Mexican citizen. At the same time, Machete, still looking for work, is approached by Texas Senator Michael Booth. Booth takes Machete to his office and offers him a job, unaware that Machete is a former federal agent with dangerous skills. Booth explains that he wants Machete to assassinate Senator John McLaughlin. Booth fears that if McLaughlin is elected, he will pass laws blocking immigrants from entering the country. This would be bad for the government, as they depend on Mexican immigrants to do low-paying jobs that American citizens won't do unless they are paid more. Booth offers Machete $150,000 for the job, and Machete agrees. Booth takes Machete to a room full of weapons and gives him a sniper rifle, instructing him to shoot McLaughlin during his campaign event the next afternoon. After leaving Booth's office, Machete gives the money to Luz, asking her to share it with immigrant workers who need it most. The next day, Machete positions himself on the roof of a building overlooking the campaign event. He's ready to shoot Senator John, but before he can pull the trigger, Booth's assistant Smith shoots Machete in the shoulder. Then, Smith shoots Senator John in the leg, causing chaos. Hurt and realizing something is wrong, Machete runs for it. As he tries to escape, he is confronted by Booth's men, but Machete fights them off and keeps running. Two Texas police officers catch him and take him into custody. While in the police car, Machete realizes that the two officers actually work for Booth. Luckily, they forgot to handcuff him, so Machete quickly overpowers them and escapes. After the incident, the media reports that Senator John was shot by Mexicans, which causes a surge in support for his campaign to crack down on illegal immigration. It becomes clear that this was all part of Senator John and Booth's plan to manipulate the public. They used Machete as a pawn in their scheme. Booth contacts his boss, Torres, to inform him about the situation. Torres is shocked to learn that Machete is involved. Remembering their history, Torres orders Booth to kill Machete, seeing him as a threat to his criminal operations. Meanwhile, Machete, 
who is badly wounded, is taken to a hospital. There, nurses who are part of Luz's underground network secretly help him recover. But trouble arrives when Smith and Booth's men show up at the hospital. Using whatever tools he can find, including medical knives, Machete defends himself, fighting off his attackers. He manages to escape the hospital after a fierce battle. Later, Luz finds Machete and offers him a ride. She takes him to her home, where Machete discovers that Luz is deeply involved in Schist Network, the group that helps immigrants cross the border. At the same time, Agent Sartana receives orders from her boss to investigate the person responsible for shooting Senator John. When she digs deeper, she finds out that the shooter was Machete. Sartana heads to Luz's coffee shop, a place where Machete is known to hang out, but it's closed. Sartana then uses an AI program to search for more information about Machete. Through this, she discovers that Machete used to be a federal agent, which changes everything for her. Meanwhile, Smith tracks down Machete at Luz's house. Determined to capture him, he orders his men to surround the building. Before they can even get inside, Machete takes them down one by one. Frustrated, Smith resorts to more drastic measures and throws a bomb at Luz's house. Machete manages to escape just in time. As Machete is trying to leave, Sartana catches him and takes him to her place. At her house, Machete explains that he wasn't the one who shot the senator. It was all a setup by Booth. He asks Sartana to let him go, promising to gather evidence to expose Booth and his corrupt group. The next day, Torres reaches out to Booth and Smith furious that they have still failed to kill Machete. Booth, feeling the pressure from Torres, comes up with a desperate plan. He suggests killing Smith and hiring a skilled assassin named Amanpour to finish the job. Meanwhile, Luz's friends find out that her house has been destroyed by the fire. Soon after, Luz appears and takes them to her new hideout in a shop house. Inside, she shows them a secret stash of weapons bought with the money Machete had given her. Luz tells her friends that it's time to fight back against the Texas government, which has been treating Mexican immigrants unfairly. At that moment, Sartana arrives, and it seems like she's there to ambush Luz. However, instead of arresting her, Sartana reveals that she has decided to join Luz's cause. After seeing the evidence of the government's crimes, including Vaughn Jackson's brutal shootings of immigrants at the border, Sartana can no longer stay on the sidelines. The next day, Machete goes to a church to meet his older brother, Armano, who is now a pastor. Machete explains to Armano that he's been framed by the Americans. When Machete describes the man who set him up, Armano immediately recognizes Booth. Armano reveals that Booth often comes to the church to confess after committing crimes. To help his brother, Armano gives Machete notes and videos containing Booth's confessions. With this new information, Machete decides to gather more evidence by going to Booth's house. Disguised as a gardener, he sneaks past two of Booth's guards by defeating them in a fight. Once inside, Machete meets Booth's wife, April, and their daughter, June, who are busy making videos for social media. Impressed by Machete's appearance, they invite him to collaborate on their content. After participating in the video with them, Machete takes the recording and begins searching the house for Booth's important files. During his search, Machete decides to kidnap both April and June, taking them to his brother Armano's church for safekeeping. When Booth returns home, he is shocked to find his wife and daughter missing. To make things worse, he discovers the collaboration video featuring Machete and becomes enraged. Furious, Booth calls the assassin Amanpour to capture Machete. However, Amanpour is already aware of Machete's connection to Armano and is prepared. Meanwhile, Machete finishes gathering all the evidence he needs and hands it over to Sartana. As Sartana reviews the files, she uncovers a shocking truth. Booth, Senator John, and Vaughn Jackson's boss are all working under Torres. It turns out that Torres had orchestrated Senator John's re-election campaign to gain control of the U.S.-Mexico, border for his drug smuggling business. The entire plot was part of Torres's plan to expand his illegal operations. The next day, Luz is about to enter her shop when Vaughn suddenly appears. Realizing that Luz is an ally of Machete, Vaughn shoots her to send a warning, hoping to threaten Machete. Meanwhile, Amanpour and his men head to the church with a deadly mission, to kill Armano. Sensing danger, Armano grabs his rifle 
and fights back bravely. Despite his resistance, he is eventually overpowered and captured. Booth and Amanpour then cruelly torture Armano, trying to force him to reveal Machete's location. Armano stands firm and refuses to give up his brother. In the end, Amanpour kills him for his silence. Elsewhere, Machete and Sartana are asleep when they are suddenly attacked by Booth's men. Fortunately, they manage to fight off the attackers, defeating them all. Fearing for his brother's life, Machete rushes to the church, but by the time he arrives, it's too late. Armano is already dead. Sartana reviews the church's CCTV footage and collects it as evidence. With a heavy heart, Machete heads to Booth's house, determined to confront him. After fighting through Booth's guards, Machete finally comes face to face with Booth and the senator. Meanwhile, Sartana delivers the incriminating files and footage of Booth and his group's crimes to a reporter. The evidence quickly spreads to the public, putting immense pressure on Senator John. During a press conference, a reporter confronts the senator with the recordings, exposing all the murders and crimes, including Booth's role in killing immigrants at the border. The public, outraged by the revelations, demands answers. In the chaos, Senator John starts experiencing a heart attack, and Booth rushes to help him leave the building to avoid further trouble. On their way out, John, furious at Booth for letting the crime recordings leak, suddenly turns on him and shoots Booth in the chest. Panicking, John flees to Vaughn's headquarters, seeking protection. Shortly after John flees, Machete arrives at Booth's house and finds him dying from the gunshot wound. With his last breath, Booth makes a strange request, asking Machete to buy skincare products before he passes away. The scene then shifts to Booth's wife, April, and their daughter, June, who received the shocking news of Booth's death at the hands of John. Furious and devastated, April vows to take revenge on John for killing her husband. Meanwhile, Machete meets two of Luz's friends, who inform him that Luz has gone missing. As they discuss what might have happened, two men approach Machete and invite him to join their underground network. They reveal that Vaughn is responsible for Luz's disappearance, and they need Machete's help to take him down. The following day, Sartana rallies the immigrant community, calling on them to rise up and fight back against the injustices they've faced. Before she can take further action, she is kidnapped by Torres's men. When Machete hears about Sartana's capture, he quickly gathers the network members and leads them in an assault on Vaughn's headquarters, determined to save Sartana and stop Vaughn. At the same time, John, who had sought safety with Vaughn, finds himself betrayed and arrested by Vaughn's men. Just as John is about to be executed, Machete and the network launch a massive attack on the headquarters, sparking a fierce and chaotic battle. During the fighting, Luz, who has survived, appears to help Machete. Together, they fight their way through Vaughn's forces. Meanwhile, Luz's network manages to rescue John, offering him a chance to join their cause against the corrupt government. But just as it seems John might be spared, April suddenly arrives, filled with rage. In a moment of revenge, she runs over John with her car and shoots him in the chest, delivering the same fate he inflicted on her father. Vaughn attempts to flee the chaos in his car, but his escape is short-lived as Luz catches up and shoots him, killing him instantly. Not long after, Torres arrives, holding Sartana hostage. With a smug attitude, he challenges Machete to a one-on-one -on -one duel. The two engage in an intense battle, but Machete's skills prove superior. He ultimately kills Torres, who, before dying, admits that Machete is truly a formidable opponent. After the battle, it's revealed that John is still alive, thanks to the bulletproof vest he was wearing. He sneaks back across the border into the US, but as soon as he crosses the fence, he is shot and killed, finally meeting his end. Machete, riding his motorcycle, is stopped by Sartana. In a surprising twist, Sartana, who once chased him, now expresses her desire to stay with him. The film ends with this unexpected moment between them. So the moral of the story is, if you're ever set up, betrayed, and caught in a whirlwind of violence and revenge, make sure you at least look good, because you never know when someone might ask you to buy skincare products.